Hey friends, so I am on another backpacking trip out to another one of my local trails, of course, because they're close to home, really quick, accessible, I can do them right after work, which is what I did on this one, took my, brought my gear with me to work. And then after work, I drove straight to the trailhead. The trail I'm headed to today is called Fisherman's Camp. This is located in the Cleveland National Forest. It's right next to Tenaha Falls. And this is also I believe this is also in the San Mateo wilderness area. I was looking for something quick and fun to do just so I could spend a night out after work. Today is Friday and I need to be home tomorrow, not later than noon, to continue with things I gotta do. And so I thought this would be a perfect, perfect kind of a trip just to get away for a night. It doesn't take a whole lot of preparation except for, you know, submitting, requesting a wilderness permit for camping out here. Because again, this is in the San Mateo wilderness, the San Mateo Canyon wilderness. So I requested my permit beginning of the week and I want to say a couple days later they email it to me.
Okay. So I am avoiding the lower. I am avoiding that right there. That's the split. You can go, you can take the lower creek. And during the day, that's pretty fun. Um, especially right now that there is actual water in the creek. <laughs> It's not all dried out like it's been for years now. So it's fun to go that way. Um, but there is quite a few water crossings that you have to do, kind of dance around the rocks. Or if you're wearing tennis shoes, trail runners, you just, you just walk through the water and uh, eventually you'll dry out. But, it's almost 7 p.m. right now, and I really don't. Yep. It's 150 feet ahead to your right. Yep. That is my watch telling me uh, I am off route. <laughs> uh, that's because when I kind of drew the route or route on my watch, I I used the bottom, uh, the lower creek area, not thinking um, and right now I was like whoops right now I was like nah I'm not gonna go that way it's getting late I want to just make it to camp set up tent cook dinner and enjoy my time I feel like getting wet right now so that's what we're doing we're taking the upper, the upper, I forget what it's called, the upper creek. I know I'm a fruit. So we'll see, maybe tomorrow morning on the way back home, on the way back to the trail, maybe I will take the lower, the lower creek route, but not right now.
beautiful. All right, friends. So I left camp about 30, 45 minutes ago and totally recommend it. That's a really nice camping area and it's only, let me see if I can get a better hold of this. And it's only about two miles in from the trailhead. Um, a lot of rolling hills. I want to say about three, two, three water crossings right now. And right now there is still plenty of water running. So as long as you have a filtration that you trust, no need to bring no need to bring too much water with you. You can just collect water along the way. I brought my own water, but only about two, I think it was only about two liters. And I used to, I used most of it at camp and I only have about a liter and a half with me right now. Actually about a liter, yeah, about a liter and a half. Just for the, for the way back. All right, friends, that is it for me on this one. If you liked the video, please don't forget to do the usual. Like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And as always, hope to see you out on the next one. Bye.